Vi stiamo trasmettendo dallo Stadio Catalonia. Un saluto a tutti i tifosi in ascolto dal vostro Gianni Pinoli. E anche oggi per il commento tecnico impareggiabile Sandro Manini. A te la linea, Sandro. Grazie. Un saluto a tutti i telespettatori. Stiamo per assistere ad una partita di esibizione. L'incontro di oggi vede in campo il Barcellona contro il Madrid. A refreshing breeze is blowing across the pitch. And hello, all of you football freaks, this is Peter Brackley. We have for you the Emperor's Cup. Nevada versus Catalonia is what we're here to see today. We're joined by our game analyst, Trevor Brooking. Welcome to the game, Trevor. Good afternoon, it's good to be here. The starting 11 should be announced at any moment. And both teams are led onto the pitch by their captains. The team photograph session is going on at the moment. This screen shows the expected formation they'll assume for the game. And the kickoff will be any moment now. Good evening to you. This is Peter Brackley. Cataluna versus Charmartin. Well, this evening I'm commentating alongside Trevor Brooking. Good evening, Trevor, and thanks for joining us. You're welcome, Peter. It's great to be here. Cataluna will have to battle hard to win this one, Trevor. Can there be two more closely matched teams? Well, I wouldn't have thought so. I mean, I just can't pick up This is Peter Brackley and a warm welcome to you all this afternoon. This is a long-awaited friendly match. Barcelona versus Real Madrid. Now we've invited Trevor Brooking to provide us with match analysis today, so welcome to the game, Trevor. It's always a pleasure, Peter. Thank you.
Good evening and welcome. I'm Peter Brackley and with me is Trevor Brooking. So the match, Trevor, about to get underway. Thanks, Peter. I'm really anticipating this one. Let's hope it lives up to all those expectations. Here we go. Good afternoon. The players are coming out onto the pitch in for today's game, as are the referee and his assistants. Trevor Brooking is with me. Thanks, Peter. It's a pleasure to be here watching these two fight it out this afternoon. Here we go. Oh, nothing is riding on this match. I'm sure the managers and the players will put plenty into this match to make sure it is a good one. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome, John Champion, Mark Lawrenson, bringing you play-by-play, blow-by-blow accounts of this fascinating matchup. Mark, we've seen these two teams come together before. Are you expecting fireworks? Good afternoon, and thanks, John. It's great to be up here in the box. I'm ready to start. Even though this is just an exhibition match, the fans of both teams in the stadium are really up for it. Let's just hope the players follow suit. Good evening and a very warm welcome from me, John Champion, and from Mark Lawrenson. It's self-evident that conditions are less like than this, ideal, both sides the fans here are determined to not to let that ruin players. their day. It's going to be a battle out there. A big rivalry between these teams, and a good atmosphere to match it as well. Plenty of spectators in the stadium, shouting from the heart. Такого матча больше нет в Европе. Это называется классико, и этому даже приставки супер не нужны. Потому что Реал против Барселоны – это зрелище, которое приковывает к себе внимание всех. Реал против Барселоны играют давно, упорно и на всех уровнях, что в чемпионате, что на европейском уровне. И никогда, вы никогда не угадаете, кто здесь будет победителем. Под руководством этого тренера команда добилась впечатляющих успехов. И сегодня мы ждем от нее продолжения, так сказать, банкета. Интересно, как дальше будет работать этот тренер? Как будет строиться его карьера? Я заинтригован. 
У этих клубов старые счеты. В выходе на борство уже не раз высекались искры. Возгоралось пламя. Посмотрим, что будет сегодня. Все сходят с ума от этого матча заранее. It's John Champion and Jim Beglin providing the match commentary from the Santiago Bernabeu. Hi, John. I'm really glad to be here. Let's hope these teams serve up a real cracker. Clashes between these two have always been thoroughly engaging. Titles have been won, tempers have been lost. A trend which is certain, I think, to continue. These are the lineups. И вновь две крупнейшие испанские команды схватились в матче за первенство, за преобладание друг над другом. Это больше, чем футбол, это больше, чем политика, это просто жизнь. Реал и Барселона. У них такое количество титулов, что они могли бы забросать любую другую команду кубками и медалями. Но они нацелены сейчас на противостояние только друг с другом. Мы ведем наш репортаж из Барселоны, с огромного стадиона Камп Ноу. Или, как еще говорят, Ноу Камп. Для вас работают Василий Уткин и Василий Соловьев. Добрый вечер, Василий. Добрый вечер, зрители. Думаю, от сегодняшнего матча вам оторваться будет невозможно. Поэтому запаситесь чипсами и пивом. Прекрасный тренер, прекрасная команда. С каждым матчем они делают новый шаг вперед. И сегодня новая игра. И что же получится? Редко когда... Команда так совпадает с тренером, как будто одна семья. Смотрю и радуюсь. So, here we go then. Real Madrid against Barcelona. It's John Champion and Jim Beglin on commentary duty. And a warm welcome to you all. Really feel the sense of occasion here. El Clasico, one of the biggest derbies in the world. The intense rivalry between these two huge Spanish clubs makes it one of the very best. cross that white line then you have to compete and you have to give it everything you've got and I'm sure both sets of supporters will want to see that too today. How would you categorize this particular rivalry? Neighbourly, narky or just downright nasty? Um, it can be a little nasty at times but there's just always a, a fierce intensity about it, a fierce rivalry so you, you know you're going to get a really passionate game of football, two teams that really do want to win it. Seconds out, round one. Here we go. Here we have Barcelona against Real Madrid. It's John Champion and Jim Beglin on commentary duty and a warm welcome to you all. Hello, John. I'm really looking forward to this one. Let's hope it lives up to all our... The warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And here we have Real Madrid against Barcelona. 
This is Peter Drury, and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Hi, Peter. Always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. Well, this is intense. They talk about it for months, they remember it for years. It matters almost too much when Barca and Real collide. Now, Casillas keeps goal. Pepe, Sergio Ramos, Daniel Carvajal, Marcelo, Tony Kroos, Modric, James Rodriguez, Bale, Cristiano Ronaldo, Benzema, tasked with leading the line. Barcelona play away from home. Bravo takes the gloves. Pique, Mascherano, Daniel Alves, Jordi Alba. Sergio Busquets, Rakitic, Iniesta, Messi, Neymar, Luis Suarez, tasked with scoring goals. Hello and welcome to the San Siro here in Milan, home to two of Italy's grandest clubs, AC Milan and Internazionale. I'm Peter Drury, and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beglin. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. the lineups for this game So hello and welcome to you wherever you are. We are here at this most recognisable of venues in world football. It is the Camp Nou, the proud and impressive home of FC Barcelona. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beglin. Well, I can tell you I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. Barcelona have chosen to go 4-4-2. It's a system of balance. The midfield can be a straight four or a diamond shape, and one of the attackers can, can always drop off.
Well, good day to you. You join us on uh, a pretty wet afternoon here in the Mount of Oakland, and it is uh, raining, a bit wet and miserable. The panel ought not to put us off. We are all indeed itching to go. Last few uh, final checks and formalities are being gone through now. There is a very good crowd in, a boisterous crowd too, smashing atmosphere. And on a day like this in this part of the world, there is nowhere you would rather be, with or without the game. This is one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. A friendly <laughs> clearly doesn't think so. In fact, the way I'm sitting here, Peter, thinking, is it possible for these two to meet under friendly circumstances? This exhibition match is likely to exhibit the same old rivalry. To me, it also has the same feel to it, and I'm pretty sure we can look forward to what will be a combative, high-intensity affair. We can't really say anything negative about this, and if it is full on then I'll be happy to watch that. Well, this is intense. They talk about it for months, they remember it for years. It matters almost too much when Barca and Real collide. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Well, it's a friendly in theory, but we are expecting this to be fiercely contested. Well, exhibition match sounds like an easy ozy game of football, Peter, and a picture-perfect occasion until the word pride gets a mention. And it's likely to have quite a big say between teams that could easily be sucked into an excuse for another feud. Why let an exhibition match get in the way of that? So these two will be going at it very, very strongly. resumen con las jugadas más destacadas de la primera parte. Well, good evening to you and welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football to which we look forward immensely. It's hardly a surprise that everybody has come here in their droves, this being a fixture that has received so much coverage in the days leading up to it. And it's good to see that we have a good contingent of visiting fans by the look of it too. The atmosphere is amicable, the conditions do bring out the best in everyone, and I think we're all looking forward to a feel-good game. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. Well, it's as friendly as it can be in the circumstances, but you feel the rivalry. Well, I think we know what we're in for, whatever the circumstances that exist when these two meet. Losing really isn't an option, making this another intense, feisty clash, which should keep everyone on edge. The fans are 
more nervous than the players to me, confirming an atmosphere of, of angst. Try telling them there's nothing riding on this.